Lesson 3.11, Repeated Addition. We can write an addition sentence, that means an addition equation, for problems with equal groups. We can count the number of items in a row and the number of rows. Here we have one, two, three rows. Remember, rows go across. And we have five in each row. That means we're going to have three rows, so there's three add-ins. We have five plus five plus five. We do five plus five plus five. And five plus five is 10, plus another five is equal to 15. We write an addition sentence by repeating the number of items in a row as many times as there are rows. We have four rows, one, two, three, four. Four rows means four add-ins. There are three in each row, so that's our add-in, three. Three plus three plus three plus three. Do you know how much that is? If you said 12, you're correct. We can use counters or draw a quick picture to show equal groups. There are four rows of cars in a parking lot. There are five cars in each row. How many cars are in the parking lot? So we think we need to circle the important information. There are four rows and five cars in each row. We draw a quick picture of four rows, one, two, three, four, with five in each row. We can just make little dots for the cars. We can write an addition sentence to match our drawing. There are four rows, so we will have four add-ins. There's five in each row, so our add-in will be a five for each space. And we can add these quickly. We can skip count by fives, five, 10, 15, 20. We can also think that five plus five makes a 10, and this five plus five makes a 10, so we have 10 plus 10, which is equal to 20. There were four rows, so we had four add-ins. So we can use addition to find the total amount when we have equal groups. We have one row, two rows, three rows. That's three groups. Three equal groups of four makes three rows of four. We're going to have three add-ins, and because there's four in each row, in each group, we're going to add four plus four plus four. Do you know how much that is? If you said 12, you're right. It's telling us to find the number of shapes in each row, complete the addition sentence to find the total. How many are in each row? We have one, two, three, four, five rows, and there are two in each row. We have five rows of two. Because there's five rows, we will have five add-ins. One, two, three, four, five add-ins. And there's two in each row, so that's what our add-ins will be in each space. It'll be a two. We could add these quickly by skip counting by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Five rows of two is equal to ten. Here we have two rows, and there are one, two, three, four, five in each row. We have two rows of five. Two rows means we're going to have two add-ins. There are five in each row, so each add-in will be a five. Do you know five plus five? If you said 10, you're right. Now it's telling us to solve, write, or draw to explain. There are eight donuts in a box. There are four donuts in each row. How many rows are there? So think, be careful. 
we need to find the number of rows. How many rows are there? And we can draw four donuts in each row until we draw eight in all. Then we can count the rows. It's telling us that there are eight in the box and four donuts are in each row. So we can draw one row of four donuts. We can draw another row of four donuts. And we know four plus four is eight. We've made two rows. So how many rows of donuts are there? There must be two rows. Two rows of four is equal to eight. Miss Cho made three rows of four chairs and two rows of six chairs. How many chairs did Miss Cho use? So we think we can make a quick drawing of the important information, then we can write an addition sentence. Our important information is three rows of four and two rows of six. Three rows of four, we have one, two, three rows with four in each row. Then we have two rows of six. We can add four plus four plus four plus six plus six. And if you remember four plus six is equal to 10, we can make tens to add faster. I see four plus six right here, that makes a 10. And we can match this four with this six to make another 10. That means we have 10, 20, and four more. That's equal to 24. When we have many add-ins that we need to add together, we'll go faster if we make tens first. 10, 20, four. So remember that we can use repeated addition. We can write an addition sentence for problems with equal groups. The number of rows is how many add-ins we'll have, and the number that is in the row will be the add-end. Our next lesson is going to be in Chapter 4. We're going to talk about two-digit addition. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope I see you next time. Bye.